What up? It's Geeky Fire MMA here. Um, I just screw up. I forgot to switch my YouTube account, and I just uploaded my post fight thoughts review on my other channel by accident. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna have to. I think I'm gonna have to download that shit legal and upload on my main channel. I don't know, and I gotta go technology. But yeah. Anyways, this video is gonna be about. Uh, what was it? Uh, next week's fight Jessica Andrade versus um, shit, I forgot how to say her name like Louis Zhang or something like that the first uh, this will be the first Chinese fighter to fight for a title in the UFC and you know I think she jumped the line but to me she's legit she'd be a uh, what is it uh, Tisha Torres I always get those two mixed up, man. Like, Sorez is a good one. Torres is the... She's good, but she's... I think she's more gatekeeper status now. So I was pretty impressed that, you know, the Chinese girl beat her. Not just on the feet, but on the uh, clinch and ground game as well. You know? Like, those Chinese guys are getting legit now, you know? You would think, you know, if anything, you know, they would be weak at the ground. But I think... Most of them, their strongest is the ground game. Like, I mean, there's not that much UFC fighters and uh, the US, there's not that much Chinese fighting the UFC too. But from what I see, their strongest assets is the ground game. Like uh, Song Yudong, he's pretty well-rounded, very good, powerful guy. But when he uh, won those fights, when he couldn't get the, when the guys looked it more skillful than he was. He had to resort to his wrestling and uh, he beat him, so that's very good, impressive. And then there's another guy from uh, Team Alpha as well, you know, shitty striker but decent wrestler. But he just got knocked out by the Mexican guy um, with a flying knee. And then, um, yeah, it's not that much guys, but, uh, or girls, but yeah, they're legit. Uh, Louis Jean. She, she has a chance to. Uh, she has a decent chance to make it competitive, but I think uh, she'll get knocked the fuck out by Jessica Andrade, man. Jessica Andrade, ooh. Like Luke Thomas says, she's like an ant. Like an ant is. She's pound for pound the strongest. Like an ant could carry ten times their more weight, and that's what she is, man. She's a freaking beast. Like, she is strong as heck. Like, and, she, you know, she kind of brute force her way, but she's legit, too. Like, that pressure, like, we'll see, man. I think, uh, Louis John can make it competitive, but she's going to get caught. And I think the pressure's going to be too much for her. You know, unless they're fighting in China's time zone, that might help her, but I don't know what time zone they're fighting in. If they're fighting in uh, the American time zone or the Chinese time zone. If uh, they're fighting the Chinese time zone, you know, Zhao has a good chance, but that, that's, I don't even know if I said her name right, to be honest, but yeah. You know, you know one time out, if you're watching this, the first female Chinese fighter. And the only reason she's getting the shot is because the fight's in China. So, you know, she jumped the line, but to me, I think she will earn the way. She's good enough to earn the title shot, but, she, you know, even if she didn't, like, you gave her more time, I think she will eventually get to the title shot, but I don't think she's good enough to win. You know, not at least, not against uh, Jessica Andrade. Andrade is a fucking beast. Yeah. Um, you know, that Rose Ramirez, it's called luck or whatever, but I don't believe in luck, man. That's... Before she got that to that slam, you know, she was uh, starting to get... Uh, a little bit closer to the range and it's starting to get more competitive you know and um she lands on shots on rolls before she got the slam too so it's slowly getting more competitive um 
I haven't checked uh, into the who's on the like homing or uh, who's else is on the main cards and shit. But this one should be legit. I think I'm assuming since it's in China, Song Yudong might be there. That's a guy to keep an eye for. Like that's a real legit young contender. Like not Sage North, but. You know, Song Dong, like 23 years old, I believe. He's like 22, 23, I don't know. He's between 21 to 23. Very legit, and dude got some legit talent, you know. He's been fighting pro since he was 15, so to me, those losses, I don't really consider them losses. Like, the dude's been competing at pro at age 15. I don't think he got knocked out, so that's good, but you know. You go and pro at age 15, that's legit. Uh, dude's a legit guy, man. He's uh, a good prospect. Honestly, though, I think Team Alpha is overrated. I would prefer him to go to American Top Team. The guy is very fast, very powerful. I, I'm just saying this. I don't really know if he's going to be on the car or not. I don't check 100% sure. I just assume he says it's in China. And he's like uh, China's poster boy, but uh, yeah, if uh, Li A. John could pull this off, she she will be the first uh, full Asian fighter to be a uh, UFC champ, and um, yeah, she'll be. This will be a big deal if she could pull off in China. Like UFC is desperately looking for somebody to uh, succeed in that country you can tell they had so much events in China they even built the biggest martial arts gym in China like the UFC facility in China is way bigger than the UFC facility in Las Vegas and yeah um, they are desperately trying to find a star in that region and if uh, Li Wei Zhang can pull this off I don't think she will but if she could pull this off, that's gonna be a big deal. Like, but right now though, like, it's gonna be tough because Chinese government they don't like uh, outside culture to uh, interfere with their um, their culture, and um, I feel like I I don't know if this is true or not. One of my uh, MMA. Uh, groups I in on Facebook uh, I, this was a while back but like probably like two months ago I saw that they uh, posted that if you got tattoos you can't compete in China in MMA they just try and I just feel like that's just more like a, a Chinese government trying to make it harder like I don't know it's a cultural thing and for whatever reason you know, they feel like if MMA gets a bit popular, you know, their cultural martial arts won't be big no more. And, uh, you know, honestly, like, you know, you could do that shit for cultural stuff, but, like, you shouldn't be, like, scamming kids, like, oh, doing Tai Chi, Kung Fu can make you know how to fight. Like, hell no, man. Like, there's some legit, like, strikers, like, uh, some legit martial arts. They got some legit wrestling and uh, legit was what's the one you call? It? They got some legit wrestling program and like the the one that Kung Lee's good at, the one that you can implement takedowns and kickboxing, but you can't do anything on the ground besides just taking them down. Um, those are legit programs, but like those uh, shit you see in movies, like. Come on, man. Stop teaching young kids that. Like, I just feel like it's a cultural thing. They don't want MMA to get big, or else they got to lose a lot of money scamming people. Yeah, and um, yeah, it's cool if you want to do it with the culture, the exercise, and the um, thing. But you know, you shouldn't like make people feel confident that they could like be a good fighter by do teaching them that crap. Like. You know, shout out to uh, I forgot how to say dude's name is Shao Shu Down or I think that's his name. Guys exposing kung fu. Um, shout out to him, but yeah. Uh, 
let's see if uh, if she could pull this off, hopefully uh, she could do it. I mean, you know, that and, you know, let's see if Song Yudong could come up. Um, I haven't, you know, I've been dragging this for a while, so I'm going to have to end this video here. But yeah, uh, I got Jessica Andrade next week. And um, i kind of rooting for um for uh, Lee A. John to win because I think that will be more positive for the sport if she does win. But Jesse Andrade, man, she's a fucking beast. <laughs> I'm not a golfer, so yeah, peace out.